Well, you're a woman in your 40s with a career and a child, then your mom moves in. She, such is the reality of Melissa Rivers when her mother, Joan, came to live with her. I sat down with the two of them at Joan's home here in New York to talk about their lives on screen and off. Look at this. This girl thought she had everything. Do you think that's why they didn't call me for callbacks with a little mustache? I have two hit shows. Do you understand our business? There have been years where I had nothing. Nothing, you know, and suddenly we've got fashion police on E. e. Stacy's dress, I loved it. it, was gold and shiny, just like the wedding ring she'll never get. Oh. It is. And then we have Joan and Melissa on We. I don't know, I want to know all We're gonna the go to the spur back. No, 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 not We, not We, not We. I will do it. No. Margie knows a place. Oh, I God, will do it. Mom, we get no. it wholesale. Oh, Mom. In its second season, the series takes a look inside the real lives of Joan and Melissa Rivers. We're now living together part time in California. People always say, well, you know, she's only living there for the show. I'm like, no, she was yeah. living with me before the show and even now while we're not in production. My mom's at my house four days a week. Cooper, remember when grandma puts her hands in the cement today, make sure that mother doesn't push grandma's feet in also. Have you guys been fighting? What gives you that idea, honey? How is it working out, the two of you? Because, uh, you know, we, we see the reality show part of it, but in real life... I, I, first of all, I've, I've really gotten close with my grandson. This is great! We're doing something together! Twice now, he's even actually called me Grandma. And, uh, <laughs> instead, instead of, of Hey Miss, Lady? Hey Lady or Miss Rivers. <laughs> You know, it almost seems like you've kind of flipped the parental rule. You want to get yeah. a tattoo? <laughs> oh, my God, what's that? <laughs> At this age, you better hurry. Yeah, well, well, Melissa, how, are you, how do you handle your mother going off into this... In well, this direction. I think I've been sort of the adult in the relationship for a while. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and I don't think there's any people that would argue with that. Mom, seriously, things are great. Great, don't touch me. I might snap osteoporosis. At age 78, Joan Rivers doesn't miss a beat or a punchline. She also doesn't pull any punches when it comes to plastic surgery. It's time for maybe a 10,000 mile tune-up on my neck. I'd rather be a good looking corpse than look like some of the people I saw at my class reunion. Something Melissa doesn't support. This is ridiculous. At this point, is the reward really worth the health risks? There's a number out there that's been reported. It's all over the internet, 739 oh, I, operations. You know, when you- Not true. No, it's actually 473. No, you know, I did it as a joke to somebody. It's a joke, which is so insane, and it's been picked up, and people now say to me, is it true you had, whatever the number is, that many operations? And you go, I would never be at, I would look like a mummy. Several months ago, I was on a plane, and you were on the plane, and I don't know if you saw me, you were on the other side of the aisle, and I was watching you, and you were quiet, and you were reading or something, and I thought, what's it like to be John Rivers, the sense that you have to always be on? No, the hard thing about being John Rivers is, Hostesses expect you to be on, and yeah. I am invited to cocktail parties and dinner parties where they say, "Oh, we'll sit Joan next to them; she'll be funny at the table." If I don't know you, I don't talk at all. So you don't you don't feel this this notion I to be the comedian all the I time. Do, I feel they want me to be it, and I can't be it. Well, and they're, they're shy. My mom gets very shy and nervous, and doesn't want to disappoint. So it sort of becomes this 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 circle where she's like, "Well, then I just shouldn't say anything because." What if they think I'm not funny, or what if I, they think I'm not smart? I was at a dinner party about seven years ago, sitting there at this very full form dinner party, and right in front of me, the hostess leaned over and said to somebody, remember what Joan says is funny. <laughs> and I suddenly realized, none of these people have a sense of humor. She had to explain that I was being funny. Now, Melissa, have you ever had the, the desire to get into the comedy side? No. She's no. funny. I, I, I'm. I'm different funny than my mother. Yeah. I'm what getting rid of everything. I'm getting Wait rid of it. Because she wa doesn't want to acknowledge her birthday. I, I don't think I could do stand-up. And now with Joan spending more time with Melissa on the West Coast, the Brooklyn-born comedian has put her beloved Manhattan duplex on the market. Gaddafi wanted to rent it. You were going to do it? Gaddafi, he could have roasted pigs in the living room. It would have really upset the neighbor. But no matter where Joan resides, she certainly feels right at home with her daughter by her side. We're alive and we're working in this business. And have two shows doing well. Somewhere it's in another really life, I wash leprous feet. Yeah, the two of them are very, very fun. It seems like <laughs> it. a good time. It was fun? Yeah, the place, by the way, is up for sale. Okay. She says the price is 
not negotiable. Everything I have plus 80 million and I should be uh, good to go. <laughs> Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.